Hey hey! The last digit of your like on this video by each who you are from Melon Playground, and the last digit of your subscription to my channel will show your Melon Playground item. So go down right now, subscribe and give me a like. Look at the screen. Notice the last digit of your like and your subscription and write in the comments who you are from Melon Playground. It's simple, if your like is number 8 and the last digit of your subscription is number 5, you're a lemon and a cactus. Show your imagination and enjoy the show. And hello to all dear friends. In this video, we're going to talk about the update to Melon Playground 23.0. But before we start the video, I want to say a huge thank you to these guys, my subscribers, for participating in my videos. If you want to be in my next video, it's very easy. You need to put a like, subscribe to my channel, and write a cool comment of at least four words or more. Either way, I won't waste your time and have fun watching it. So, today we're going to talk about update 23.0. As the developers promise, this will be the biggest update in the history of Melon Playground. These innovations are absolutely waiting for all fans of Melon Playground. And let's talk about everything in order. First, I think it's worth talking about the release date. The release date is roughly discussed for the middle of May or the end of May, because the innovations in principle tests are still quite a lot, and it's too early to talk about the exact release date. Melon Playground 23.0 is still quite raw, even though there are already a lot of new features. From the information that I have and that I can tell you, it's actually going to be a very cool update, and it's going to be really the most global update ever. At the time of writing, it's on the 3 Rd of May, and I think it might actually come out a week or two after the release of this video, so expect it to be a pretty cool and global event for the world of Melon Playground. So. According to the statements of the developers themselves, we will have a new palm tree in Melon Playground. It's an addition to the desert map. In principle, nothing unusual, but I do not understand why so much attention is paid to the desert map, because we still have a winter map. In principle, there is also a summer map, which would like to be constantly supplemented with new things. It's not for nothing that the desert map is being added. I think it's the favorite map among Melon Playground fans. In principle, it is not strange, simply because the map is quite bright very warm in tone, and players are simply pleasant to be in the vastness of the Desert Melon Playground. The next thing that will add to Melon Playground is 100% is a new blood effect, and basically new decals. New decals are always very cool, because new effects, basically all the different partials for explosions, for blood, it's always very cool. It improves the immersion in the game. Basically for any fan, for any player, immersion in the game is the most important thing because it affects your impression of the game, and if the impression is at the highest possible level, then you will want to play this game more. And it's a good decision that the developers borrowed the idea from Yosuma and made new effects for blood, which is very cool. The next thing that will appear in Melon Playground is the editor in the bomb. This was announced by the developers themselves and a screenshot of the bomb editor. You can see the screenshot on your screen, and not for nothing that the developers have recruited a group of new testers. They recruited 10 people to test their game and to test the future update. The updates are quite global, and so in principle I'm not surprised that the developers are paying a lot of attention to it. Because constant bugs, it's double work. It's easier to just hire people who will constantly test the game. And the bomb editor is a cool innovation that will affect the Melon Playground community globally. Write in the comments how much you want the bomb editor to be added to Melon Playground and what kind of editor you would like to see added to this game. The next thing that will be added to Melon Playground is a new Ranger. Ranger are mechanisms that react to different objects and thus can interact with mechanisms and its types will change. Now the Ranger will change colors depending on the status of its reaction. Let's say if you want the Ranger to react to Melon, it will glow a certain color. And this is actually a very cool innovation too, because it's actually an extra measure of the mechanisms in Melon Playground. Imagine, you need to make any building, a trap, no matter what it may be. Let's say a gate. You can configure the ranger so that it reacts only to melon. And when Malonu approaches the object, the ranger will trigger the mechanism. And this gate, for example, will open, which is very cool. Well, imagine, it's really, really cool. Write in the comments what mechanism you would like to add to Melon Pay Round. Personally, I would like to see the addition of portions and more variation of them, because it's actually a very useful and cool mechanism. To be honest, I would copy the system of mechanisms in Minecraft there is already ready, and there is already all set up, so nothing to invent. The next thing to add to Melon Playground is a new transport. And it's like a tradition of Melon Playground developer to add something new from transport in the global update. 
In the last update, we had a huge truck, and in principle, I expect something similar in the future update. And most likely, I think that it will be even air transport, just because we will have a new, very cool innovation that we will again talk about later. Write in the comments what transport can add to Melon Playground, but I bet that it will finally be air transport. The next thing that will add Melon Playground is a map editor and infinite map, which means that the developers of Melon Playground will want to add a new TR. We had this news around as early as February, which means it's actually been almost half a year. That's actually a weighty figure. And the map editor is something I'd like to talk to you more about in my future video. I'll probably do a separate concept on this news because the map editor is a very weighty event in Melon Playground updates. In the end, imagine that you yourself can command your own universe of the world of Melon Playground. You can create what you want, what you have fantasized in your little world in your head. And in fact, it would be very nice if the car editor is added in this update, because there is a risk that it will appear only in update 24.0, although of course I would not like that. Write in the comments what kind of map you will make in the future. Update 23.0 map editor. I will be very interested to read your opinion. The next very competent and very global innovation, and it is an infinite map. Just imagine that there will be an infinite map in Melon Playground in Update 23.0. It's something just incredible, because we've always had limitations in the boundary planes of the regular Melon Playground map. And now you can choose to have restrictions, or you can choose not to have those restrictions. And thus you can create new cool buildings, new cool plots of your own world, which you will create with your own hands or falling from a high height, say, on a parachute, and you will not be distracted by anything and nothing. It's also very cool that there will be no height restrictions, and you can drop any things, any buildings, anything from a great height into Melon Playground. All in all, this is a very competent and very welcome update, which I think absolutely every player in Melon Playground has been waiting for. And that's why I think, and with this update will come a new update, and it's a new transport namely any air, such as a plane or a helicopter or something similar. Like add a jetpack for Melon, for example. Why not? In general, I think it would be very cool. In general, we just have to wait. This is a very big and cool update, because it will be the most global in the history of Melon Pie Ground, and we just have to wait. Well, this is the end of my video. Thank you all for watching. Good luck, everyone. Bye. And remember, mate, as always, see you the other day. Thank you.